everybody, this is Hilo again from Growing Home Garden with another episode of something to do in the garden. Uh, hi Harriet, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Harriet is mincing uh, the food scraps. We have uh, celery, um, leeks, all sorts of fennel, prongs, all sorts of great stuff. They're being cut up into small little pieces. And over here we have uh, Jane, our master composter. <laughs> Hi, everybody. And, and Jane has been sort of like a massaging and, and crushing leaves. And so tell us, Jane, why are we cutting food scraps into little pieces and massaging leaves? All right. So what we're doing today is uh, making a hot compost. At least we're doing it piecemeal. We're not making the whole bin. We're going to fill this bin over here, which is about 200 gallons. Let me see. Let's... So our bin over here. It's a geo bin. We're a going to geo bin. About 200 gallons worth of stuff, but we can't do it all today, so we're quartering it. So what 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 I'm doing is creating, in my language, um, the composting language. These are my this is my carbon. So I need to break up my carbon into small uh, parts as I can, so that the bacteria can get all over this leaf. So if I have just one leaf, we get the bacteria here and here but if i break it up we have all kinds of surfaces for the bacteria to get on we need bacteria for this compost and then harriet is is chopping up the high nitrogen huh. so we need the high nitrogen and that's what the vegetable scraps are so all the vegetable scraps from the farmer's market produce are being scraped i mean being chopped and uh, harriet little anger issues here who me <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm the sweetest person around. <laughs> Little Harry. therapeutic gardening. That guy who cut me off in traffic. Ah! <laughs> there you go. All right. And then it's, I'm going to follow Jane over. And then we're going to take all our goodies that we've chopped and mushed. And just like a recipe, we're going to mix. So we've still got to get some regular green and we're going to have some alfalfa for that. But here's more of our high nitrogen, here's so, our carbon. And I've got another bin of carbon right here. So is this regular straw over here? And this is regular straw, yeah, that's regular, also carbon. This is regular straw. And it's also broken up nice and small. And I see we're gonna, I see you have some uh, alfalfa straw over there. Yeah, the yeah. alfalfa is the rest of my green. So we're going to need four, four more buckets of regular green. So we've got five buckets of brown. We're going to have five buckets of green. And then I've got to check the moisture content and we've got to mix it up as if it were in a mixing bowl. And then we're going to dump it all in our geo bin and that'll be our first so, layer. So, so this stuff gets mixed in, mixed up, and then it goes into this geo bin right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. And we're going to do about a quarter of this, which is what, about 50, 50 gallons or so? Uh, it's less than 50. Uh, that, yeah, about 50, yes. 50 gallons? Yeah. Done. So now we're mixing up the, the carbon and the nitrogen. Yeah. So ideally I would have a pitchfork, but I forgot my pitchfork. So I'm just mixing it up as best I can and it really doesn't matter if it's mixed up it can go layer upon layer and that works as well because in the end it's all going to be turned when we turn and mix it uh, when it gets to the right temperature so um, we're just mixing everything together here and then we're going to pile it into the geo bin what's important here is that I have the right amount of moisture so I take a small amount in my hand and I should just get just a drop coming out through my fingers no more than a drop or two as I squeeze hard so the moisture content is important we don't want to over wet and um, as I say it's like a recipe so we want to get it right before we put it in our oven our geo bin oven That we are sprinkling I guess you mixed in the uh, the carbon the nitrogen and you have a layer of uh, I guess horse manure and bedding yeah we 
There's also some high nitrogen and carbon. So just a little of that to make sure it fires up. And what is this you're putting on liquid? And this is this is water, but I put humic acid in, and humic acid dechlorinates and dechloramines the city water. So we humic acid will break up the chlorine molecules because chlorine is put in the water to kill bacteria. And what we want here is to encourage bacteria. So I have to treat the water, treat the city water so that um, it won't kill our bacteria. And you're gonna yeah. make sure everything's evenly spread out. Yeah, just mix it around a little bit more and then we'll do another layer. And always making sure that it's moist enough. And I'm gonna try the moisture. So it's a little dry there. Try the moisture in different places. Just a handful. This is coming up wet. I'm getting some water in between my fingers there. Let me try it over here. Yeah, that's pretty good too. So I'm just gonna leave that dryish patch there because there's plenty of water everywhere else. And by the time we mix it up, things will be distributed. Water will be distributed. So as you could see, Jane has already put in about 50 gallons worth of carbon and nitrogen. The nitrogen is composed of uh, different vegetable crops, of just beet greens, fennel frongs, uh, leeks, onions, tomatoes, squash, just uh, all the basic celery, all sorts of stuff. In here we also have uh, alfalfa straw, which is the green stuff, and regular and regular straw mm -hmm. um, and uh, as well as leaves that Jane's been collecting from the local park for the last week or so. So Jane, so we're, we're at what point here? Right, so we're, uh, we've are we still got to do the same again three, three more times to fill the bin and I'll do that uh, in the next couple of days and it'll be the same process, five gallons five gallons, five to five sets of five gallon drums um, full of carbon and nitrogen and uh, five five gallon drums. Okay. So 25 um, gallons of, uh, so we've actually got 50 gallons in here because we had five, five fives of 25 of uh, carbon and the same again for the nitrogen. Okay. So um, then we're, we, now uh, it, it probably won't cook up until uh, we get it more full. You've got to have three cubic feet for the heat to be generated. That's the minimum size that you want. So um, we're sort of doing this piecemeal. You just got to work with what you've got. So uh, when it gets up to temperature, then we've got to start monitoring that temperature every day. And it's got to stay at a certain temperature before we turn it. And when we get to that, we'll, we'll talk about that too. Sounds good, thank you. Okay.